Um, a new NoCo tutorial for NoCo HQ and today's tutorial we're going to show you how to implement external code into your bubble application so obviously um, bubble is a no code tool but it allows you to use external code um, in various different ways in order to extend your application and for many applications using just bubbles native features will be sufficient but uh, in our experience, if you build big applications um, with lots of users and you want to add a lot of functionality, some things just aren't um, entirely possible in Bubble. But the great thing is Bubble allows you to extend your application almost in all any kind of way by using uh, basically custom HTML, custom CSS and custom JavaScript using custom plugins. So in this tutorial, we'll give you a quick overview into the different basically places where you can add your own code. Um, in Bubble, um, this is not a coding tutorial, so um, of course it depends on what you want to add. Um, some things might be easier than others, but we're going to guide you through the various places where you could um, add code and basically turn Bubble into a low-code tool. All right, so right now we're in our Bubble editor here. I just created a new page. I call it code. Um, um, quite normal uh, as always. I'm just going to add a text here maybe just so we, we can see that. So let's call it demo page, okay? Um, and center that and I want to show you off show you where you can now add code to your website so let's start off by heading to settings and then going to SEO slash meta tags okay and this is the first place where you're allowed to add custom code um, to your header or the body if you don't know what the header and body is um, I'd recommend you to read up on it that's it's not complicated it's just a general structure of HTML pages. But what you can do here is you can add code, which will be applied to every single page, to every single header within all pages of your bubble application. And the same thing here, you can apply, uh, oh, you can apply code that should be applied in every body uh, or between the body tags of all of your pages. So again, if you add something here, it will be applied everywhere. Okay, and you can't exclude any pages. Okay, when does that might that be useful? Well, it's quite often useful if you want to add global um, scripts such as f uh, Facebook Pixel, um, TikTok Pixel, LinkedIn Pixel, all of these tracking analytics tools. If you want to drop that on every page, if you use some kind of affiliate program, you want to add the code on every page, or just if you use an external library. Usually how that works is you have this script tag, so script source, and then whatever the source is, okay, whatever library you're using, okay, I'm just gonna have my library.com, whatever that is, uh, and then you have to close the script tag, um, and now this piece of code will be applied to every page into the header, and basically this library will be loaded, and you will have access to that library depending on what that library does, okay? Same thing here, you can apply script that should be um, yeah, loaded in each body. So again, we have the header tag and the body tag. Okay, great. So let's head back to design. Um, obviously, there are certain um, situations where you want to add custom code to the header of just a single page. Okay, and you can do that just by simply clicking here. If you're on a page outside of the page, double click and you get the element inspector and it should say the name of the page, which is in our case code. And you can change all the standard things like the page title, the background color, the SEO titles and so on and so forth. And at the bottom you have the page HTML header and here you can define all the code that should be applied to the specific page only. Okay, so if I enter something here, it will only be loaded on this code page and not on my index page, support page, whatever all pages you have, okay. And again, you could add specific code here. Um, what might be useful if you have, for example, use Google Analytics or Google Ads tracking, you can, and this is your order confirmation page, you could copy the uh, order tracking code, just paste that here, and then every time this page is loaded, the order tracking code is fired, and basically you send over data to Google Ads showcase, uh, showing them, all right, this user just converted, he just paid, which is obviously quite useful for um, tracking purposes, okay? Um, the third thing I want to show you is just adding simple HTML and this is possible by just searching for the HTML element of Bubble. You can just drag that to your page and what you can do, you can just directly enter the code here. Okay. You have also the option to display it as an iframe and stretch to fit content. We, we won't use that now, but here you can basically just apply code directly. Okay. So for example, let's keep it really simple. Let's have here H1 
which is a header um, and let's just call it hello world world okay and as you can see we have this suddenly this text here displayed in the HTML um, and it's actually just this code which is being rendered which is just a header okay so really simple but you can add all kinds of code here and also scripts so code that won't be visible here but JavaScript that will run um, when the page is loaded okay so that would be again this script tag you would have a script tag okay then you would have the JavaScript here something happens and then you close the script tag again all right um, we're going to show you a simple um, example for example so if we go here to YouTube that's our channel um, and we just go here to share and embed for example you can just copy this HTML code yeah we go back to editor we paste that here and as you can see the YouTube video is displayed here it should work fine let's try that let's preview that okay all right so it looks really nice um, easy embedding of a YouTube video it works fine um, and yeah so this is a custom HTML element but we added the embed code for YouTube so this is displayed here now okay and Obviously, you could change the different uh, parameters here within YouTube, but again, obviously, that depends on what you want to do. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you, which is the most, uh, let's say, extended and complex way to extend your bubble application is by building custom plugins. And um, obviously, there are lots of great plugins um, in the bubble plugin marketplace, a lot of them published by us under the name of Anticode. Um, but I want to show you just how to um, add quick things uh, or quick actions for example by using JavaScript to your bubble application you would do that by heading over to your plugins tab clicking on new plugin I'm just gonna call this test uh, number okay let's keep it really simple and this here now this is the plugin editor looks a bit different than the bubble editor um, and this allows you to kind of extend your um, application here um, using JavaScript and different things that should happen. So for example, what I can do now, I can go to actions and I can add a new action and I could call it alert, all right? So an alert um, and we can have a field um, which says, okay, what is the alert? Okay, and this is of type text. And then I can say, all right, when this is run, so when this is run by the client, I just wanna show an alert. This is JavaScript right now and the alert should be the alert value that is inputted, okay? Again, if you don't understand this, don't worry. I just wanna show you that this is possible. And if we now go ahead and test this on my uh, application here, which is called emoji rating, I think. Let's just try that. Let's go to the test app. Then if we can take a look at that, we should have the plugin now installed. Let's go to the code page here. Um, we can add a button here, for example, now we can say, all right, um, when this is pressed, let's show the alert so plugins alert and the alert should be hello world okay and let's just try that um, and the standard browser alert should be shown to the user so let's just try that all right so let's try that and now yep it says hello world we have a standard um standard alert here so as you can see it allows you to kind of combine bubbles native elements to external code um, yeah basically extending your functionality okay we could change this a bit here maybe so what we could do we could say we could call this now calculate okay and so we have okay or multiply it's called multiply um, bubble can do that natively but I just want to show you the, the basic functionality of this so let's change the first here to um, number one okay of type number and we have number two of type number and then what happens is so actually just change it just to keep it as simple as possible just to show you how this works so what I'm doing here I'm saying all right so let's create this variable called result and this should be whatever the user inputted as number one multiplied by whatever the number two is and then we want to just show the result as an alert so let's just try that okay um, I simplified this a, a bit before so let's try that here under workflows we should now have access so when button a is clicked let's try it again if it works yep so now we have multiplied two numbers let's multiply five by eight okay um and let's try that immediately so let's stick preview and five times eight should be 40 if i'm not uh, entirely off so let's try that now by clicking the button all right so let's click that awesome the result is 40 um, it's calculated in JavaScript and it's shown as an alert to us. And obviously I can change that. 
use a big number um, and we kind of extended our application now using custom code. Um, and again, this is a really simple use case, probably not even useful because Bubble can do that natively, but obviously um, the whole world of JavaScript and all libraries are, are open to you. Um, we build plugins for that to help you incorporate that, but if you want to do simple extensions, um, you can always use that, use your own plugins, build quick JavaScript integration. So let's try that now here. And the result is 4,340. I assume that's correct. So let's just stay with that. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you learned something and I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.